Welcome to the European AstroPie Challenge, a project that will allow you to explore life on Earth and life in space like never before. In 2015, the Raspberry Pi Foundation and UKSA launched two AstroPie computers to the International Space Station to allow students from the United Kingdom to perform experiments with them. A year later, the European Space Agency took over the project in collaboration with the Raspberry Pi Foundation and expanded participating countries to include ESA member and associate states. These AstroPies have been in operation for nearly seven years now. So in 2021, we decided it was time for an upgrade and created two brand new AstroPies to allow many new experiment options. Let's start by taking a look at where the AstroPies are now. Welcome to our main operations hub on the International Space Station, the Columbus module, which looks exactly like this. The Columbus Laboratory is ESA's largest single contribution to the International Space Station. It was also the first permanent European research facility in space. As it's a laboratory, it means ESA astronauts are wandering around here all the time. The new AstroPi used for life in space experiments is situated about here in the Columbus module. So what kind of experiments can you do with it? Both AstroPies are fitted with a set of basic sensors, including a humidity sensor, a temperature sensor, a pressure sensor, and an IMU, consisting of an accelerometer, a gyroscope, and a magnetometer. In addition, from 2021, you can use the new sensors available, a PIR sensor and a color and luminosity sensor. These two sensors will come in handy for a life in space mission. A passive infrared sensor, or PIR, is an electronic sensor that measures infrared light radiating from objects in its field of view. They're most often used as motion detectors. The color and luminosity sensor can detect the received light intensity for red, blue, and green respectively, making it possible to determine the color of the target object. The AstroPi in the Columbus module is fitted with a visible camera too, but know that if you decide for life in space, you can't store any photos of the astronauts these need to be deleted before your experiment ends. What about life on Earth? For life on Earth, the AstroPi is sitting in one of the Nadir windows, which means windows that are pointing towards Earth, like these. What are the possibilities for life on Earth? This year, you'll be able to use either the visible or the near-infrared camera to explore Earth. Both cameras have 12 megapixels, which make them as good as some of your phone's cameras. It comes with a 5mm lens, which offers a wide field of view, allowing you to see more of the overall target area on the ground below. These cameras will allow you to explore forests, mountains, cities, or analyze aspects like cloud coverage. But be careful, please know that we can't target a specific location of choice, as the AstroPies will follow the path set out by the ISS orbit displayed here. This also means locations above or below these areas will never be photographed or analyzed in your experiment. Also, try to expect any kind of scenario. It may be that when your experiment runs, clouds are covering most of Earth, for example. Try to be ready to adapt your experiment to any kind of scenario that our dear Earth is bringing. If you choose to use the near-infrared camera, it's worth remembering that the infrared camera is not a thermal imaging camera and cannot provide the heat spectrum of Earth that you might have thought of. Near-infrared is part of the electromagnetic spectrum close to visible light. Our infrared camera detects visible and infrared light. We use a filter that blocks the blue and green light, but lets the red and near-infrared light through. These two light channels can be used to calculate NDVI, or Normalized Differential Vegetation Index, and measure plant health, like in the pictures shown on screen. Finally, there's a feature of these AstroPies that you'll be able to use in both life on Earth and life in space. If you want your experiment to recognize objects and images such as different types of clouds, smoke plumes from wildfires, or tornadoes, this can be achieved using machine learning and artificial intelligence. Those types of programs need a lot of processing power, but with this machine learning accelerator, all the heavy duty processing is taken care of, leaving the main processor to focus on core experiment tasks. We hope you'll make the most of the new AstroPies for your experiments. As you begin to think about your missions, consider our general requirements listed on screen.
Each category also has specific requirements. For life on Earth, these are and for life in space, Unfortunately, we cannot accept experiment ideas that don't follow these recommendations. Best of luck coming up with your ideas and have fun.